Oh, hi, guys. Hi, guys. And welcome back to the fourth installment of our Yamanote Line yep. Tokyo Grand Tour. For those of you who have missed out, we have been working our way around Tokyo via its marathon length train line, the Yamanote Line on foot and staggering the course so that we can try all of the best food as we work up an appetite. So far we've added a couple of extra steps by climbing not one but two mini mountains, said hi to Godzilla and enjoyed a drink or two in Tokyo's trendy back streets. And today we're continuing to march the marathon to the beat of the foodie drum, starting where we left off here in Ikebukuro and heading for breakfast at Onigiri Bongo. <laughs> You are hungry because we have come to Otsuka Station where we have found supposedly the best onigiri rice balls in all of Tokyo at Onigiri Bongo. Yeah. There is a huge queue all the way along the train line down the road, but we were clever and planned ahead because. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. Yay! Onigiri takeaway! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> So I said we're having breakfast, but it is now about 11.30. The shop has literally just opened. So this is kind of brunch and I am absolutely ready for it. I can already smell it. Oh my goodness. Shine. Shine that. Smells delicious. So I'm a little bit worried that this is gonna make a huge mess. As you can see, they have packed it right to the top. Oh yeah. You definitely get a good value for money. So we have Sushiko. Sushiko and this one, some special soy sauce marinated egg, which had a lot of good reviews online. So I guess without further ado, all that's left to do is to finally eat some breakfast slash brunch. Yeah. Me there. Cool. Eh? <laughs> they really do pack it in. Soy sauce. Soy sauce, marinated egg. Even the train's excited. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best not to get this all over myself. You get. I don't really know how to eat this best, so. I guess from, yeah, from the side. Shishimas. Dodo. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god, that's delicious. Eh? Onigiri, so that's what it is. But I've never had an egg onigiri. That is like the perfect breakfast onigiri, brunch onigiri, made freshly right in front of us. Doesn't even compare to supermarket style, freshly made, freshly wrapped, with love. Just, oh, gorgeous. Mm. Made even better by the fact that we can just sit here and watch these cute little trams going on behind us. Yeah. What a meet here. Breakfast down here. Is it half or more? I don't know, it's a lot. That is a heavy onigiri. It's pretty hefty. I mean, look at it compared to the size of my face. That is a big bit of egg. Yeah, I mean, half boiled or... Oh, I see. <laughs> well, it's marinated, like, kind of, yeah. 
I guess half boiled, marinated in soy sauce. Ooh. Very breakfasty, very, very, very good onigiri. I can understand the hype. I can understand why there are people queuing outside on a day like today. Ah. Mm. Mm. Perfection. So many? Like, I can't remember. I can't remember. いや。はい。ああ、それでいいんだね。コシケ一番前だこれ。で、じゃあ。フェイムスインジャパン。うん。でしょ。イズ <laughs> うま。うわ。最高の卵かけご飯がおにぎりに食べれるっていうこの。危ない、危ない。うわ。うわ。I they have even like pepperoncino curry flavors. They have so many different choices. You're gonna eat inside, but uh, why waste a day like this when you can eat the sun in the sun? <laughs> oh. Mm. oh my God, it's so good. This is onigiri gold. It's like home cooked, like with love. You can see why this is so popular. It's been going for about 60 years and they've truly perfected that egg in that time. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh. I mean, for something as simple as onigiri, you wouldn't think that it could be so complex. Very simple filling, just that marinated egg, but the taste experience is just incredible. Hmm. Little bit sweet, little bit salty, beautifully creamy, so creamy in fact. Creamy, that's kind of bad. Yeah, bad. Psycho. Mine is hot. Yeah. So sweet. Oh my goodness! I don't know how to get this out. They offered us chopsticks and we said no, but maybe we should have said yes. Look at that! <laughs> so red, so shiny. <laughs> so I think this is their like osusume number one or something. Yeah. The one that you should definitely try. And it is absolutely beautiful. It's like little jewels. Yeah, those are. Ino. Itcha. Hontri Ino. Itcha. On its own first, I think. Oh my goodness, the salty punch. <laughs> the train's going on behind me. This is, oh, wow. Incredibly fresh. We were probably one of the first orders, I think, today. Mm. And I just, like, I can't explain that is so fresh. It feels like it just came off the boat. It's so <laughs> salty. Perfect, perfect onigiri for this kind of weather. Oh. You gotta try a bit of that. Alas. Check this one. As you can see, it's very juicy. Mmm. Flavor punch, right? Mmm. How are we doing? My mouth is by the sea. Right? It's going now, right? It does. It literally tastes like it's off the boat, doesn't it? Yeah. Come on. It's so much inside. Right. right. So, how much was it total? 950 yen for both. For for onigiri, it's not that cheap, but mm. absolutely worth it. I mean, to be honest, I've not had an onigiri this good since climbing the mountains in Hokkaido, eating <laughs> Seiko Mart onigiri. This is probably, yeah, undoubtedly the best onigiri I have ever had in my life. Now I understand why they offered you chopsticks. 
The great thing about this is that if you are taking the Amanoti line, it is literally like a two minute walk from the station. We're just down the road from Otsuka station, our first stop along our route today. And the name is Seimazawa Bang. Bango. Kwasai. 